Okay, so in this video, I'll try to answer this question over here. Um, this is from the quiz four, section one, and it's about heat engine. It gives us a lot of um, statements and asks us to select any or all the true statements for Carnot engine. So with the given information, without even looking at what are the options, um, because when once you start looking into the options, you might get confused really easily because it's greater than, less than, equals to hundred. There are like five different options, and when you're in an exam setting, it's really easy to get confused. So without looking at, I would suggest don't look at the options. Just try to get information from the question as much as you can from this blurb over here. So it says that it's a heat engine, and we're looking for statements for a Carnot engine. So a heat engine operates on a cycle, and a Carnot engine is a cycle. And what we know about a, anything that runs on a cycle is that the entropy change, the delta S system, is zero uh, because it's on a complete cycle. That's why entropy change is zero. So one of the answers from all these five statements is entropy change is equals to zero because it's, it's a cycle with a heat engine operates between two reservoirs and a heat engine is cyclic um, process. It's not a single process. It's comprised of different processes which makes the whole heat engine work. So there's a whole cycle of processes that happens within a heat engine. So as soon as we hear a heat engine, we should, we should think that it's a cyclic process and the uh, net entropy change would be zero. Now let's look at D. It cannot be 100% efficient because any heat engine is not physically possible, even if it's cannot to be 100% efficient. The Carnot defines an upper bound, a realistic upper bound that a heat engine can achieve, but that too is not 100%. It's somewhere around, depends on your um, reservoirs and your equipment and other reversibility factors. So the next thing that you will look at in this question are these equal to and inequalities. So to look at that, um, you should focus on these slides over here. So it says that we have a heat engine and for the efficiency of the heat engine, we know that it is one minus Q out over Q in. Basically efficiency of the heat engine is the desired output for the heat engine, which is the work net out over the required input. We need Q in to drive, we need the heat going into the heat engine to drive the heat engine to produce work out. And work out, if you scroll up, is equals to Q in minus Q out. So once we sub that in over here and simplify it, we get this final equation. And Q out and Q in can be relabeled because Q out is Go is basically QL, which is going out of our heat engine over here. And Q in, we're taking heat in from a high temperature reservoir, which is QH. So we can easily relabel that to QL and QH. Now we have to look at another thing, which is Carnot principle, because in the question it says that we have a Carnot heat engine. So what Carnot means is that the maximum possible efficiency that we can physically get out of a heat engine, which is that if the QH is equal to T, uh, TH and QL is equal to TL, for a reversible heat, a Carnot heat engine, the efficiency becomes one minus TL over TH, which means that if QL, that Q 
QL is equal to the TL, it's replaced with TL, and TH is replaced with QH over here. So our reversible efficiency is dependent on between the two reservoirs T H T L and T H. So if we uh, the way I solved this question over here was that Q because for a kernel Q H would be T H and Q C would be Q L which would be T C. So these both ter terms would be equal. So they would cancel out. These two or would also cancel out. So like one would be equal to the other. So for example, TH and QH are both values two, two, they both cancel out. And we are left with a magnitude of one over here. And then the same thing would happen over here. These both quantities would be equal. So the answer is C and E for this particular question. I hope that helps. If you have any further questions, do let me know. I will stop. stop.